Fox 59's Darius Johnson is live downtown. He's been getting a, an up close look at some of the damage that was left behind as uh, more people are coming back to the downtown area. Darius? Live cleanup underway happening behind me right now. It's hard to believe that it's only 8 o'clock and I've been to all of those places that you just talked about this morning, just showing you the widespread damage right here in our very own city after those protests turned a little rowdy last night. I'm right here at Washington and Meridian. This is the T-Mobile store this morning. When I first got downtown this morning around 3 a.m., police were blocking this store. There were cell phone boxes everywhere, outside of the store, even inside. You can see where merchandise is scattered all over the place. You can even see where it seems like a small fire was started. Look at that um, that water jug. You can see where it's melted, even coming closer to the front door, where you can see parts of this front carpet is also burnt as well. Now, I want to take you to the other side so you can see also some of the damage first. Here's this window. They're getting ready to go ahead and knock this out now. This is what a lot of these businesses are hap are doing right now, just trying to go ahead and clear the glass and clear up a lot of this debris as they can go on and continue throughout their day. This is what it is this morning. Now as the sun is coming up, I look to my left, I look to my right, and I'm seeing people on both sides working to clean up and get their businesses back to normal. But again, we know that more people will be out here again tonight. I'm out here with Russ again. Russ and I have been splitting up all across the city. Every time I do a live shot, he's going to another location. We'll meet back up at the next. Russ, what have you seen since we last met up? There's not a cell phone or a piece of jewelry left in this part of downtown Indianapolis. They have trashed this. Windsor Jewelers down there. They also got inside to uh, Circle Center Mall where shots were fired overnight. Probably one of the most disheartening things I found was in the parking lot at St. John the Evangelist Catholic Church over by the convention center, the torched vehicle of a disabled American veteran. So downtown Indianapolis, this quadrant of it, we're just south of Monument Circle. The circle seems okay. West Market Street headed towards the State House is pretty beat up. Also down uh, south on Illinois Street, a window busted out of um, St. Elmo's. Windows also broken out at uh, Circle Center Mall. And then here on Washington Street, some of the restaurants here, windows broken out. And it was uh, quiet up until about the last half hour. And now uh, people walked around stunned. Now people are walking around. And the sound of this Saturday morning downtown Indianapolis is tinkling glass as people are breaking out what's left of these windows and uh, taking a look at uh, the mayhem that uh, ensued overnight in downtown Indianapolis. Yes, indeed. And I actually, I'm not sure how much time we have. I do want to check in with our producers first because one of the jewelry stores that we've been talking about, Andrew, watch your step. Um, some of the jewelry stores that we've been talking about, there's a lot of damage. When I first got here this morning, it was about 3.30 in the morning. This was the first place where I came where police were still out here just making sure that no one else was trying to enter any of these businesses. You can even take a look. I'm not not sure if you can see far into the distance you see where that black lives matter is graffiti it's spray painted right here on monument circle you see it right here on our monument this is the heart of indianapolis we're sitting here looking at it vandalized this morning as we wake up after these protests overnight right now we're here in front of windsor jewelry just look at this windows completely shattered they were able to make it on the inside. We're not sure what some of that damage looks like inside. You can even see where some of those jewelry glasses were broken. We're just going to try to get in a little closer. These owners are allowing us to get a little bit closer to the door. You can actually see where police are inside right now speaking to some of those people. But it's heartbreaking to see that this is what all of these businesses are dealing with this morning. This is the cleanup that everyone will have to deal with for the rest of the day. And they're also hoping and preparing that they don't have to do this again tomorrow. Again, that's the very latest downtown this morning. We will continue bringing you all the very latest and absolute best coverage all morning long. Darius, thank you very much. And as